Iħad split il-Kroazja fej ġejt biex nipprova vettura interessanti immens min għant il-Ford. Ija il-Ford Focus ST. Fil-fatt uzaw il-raba ġenerazzjoni ta' il-Focus li kif ħafna minkom li forsi zaħu din il-Kroazja jafu diġa ija kapaċ immens u ta'wa trattament ta' Ford Performance biex jizviluppawa f-hot hatch. Fil-verita din il-Kroazja għet iġib ħafna innovazzjoni għas-settur taħħa. L-owel net għandek żowċ magna wahda 2.3 petrol tijunjata imma għall-owel darba għet juzaw magna diesel fil-verzjoni ST. Għaj kun jem żowċ modelli li jihdu trattament għal-ST, il-5-door hatchback, ovjament, bis għanke l-station wagon għet għaj kun jistaj ordna ST. Għall-owel darba l-Ford et juzaw limited slip differential fuq karotza front wheel drive. U fil-verita dan jinħas fissu għana xil karotza għanda stabilita u handling li juma verament impressjonanti. Inizjalment għat kun 6-speed manual, bis eventualment għaj introduċu kol 7-speed automatic gearbox u għall-owel darba fuq dan il-model et juzaw il-selectable driver modes li jinkludu modes ovjament jekk il-karotza et tinsta bil-kum detaj u touring jonk għalla tintuza fit-track għax fil-verita il-focus esti jgħat track car ideal. Għawek il-Kroazja għant għajna ma' l-Eurox li għad direttur ta' Ford Performance. Uħansa għasi ħazzatament din il-sezzjoni tal-kumpani għax ta'ner. Leo, if you can give me a bit of background about what Ford Performance does. What we, what we do, we have uh, three areas globally of Ford Performance. I'm leading the European area. We have an, an Australian, a New Zealand, uh, Asia-Pacific area. And we have a North American area. And what we do in Europe is basically have B car and C car, so Fiesta uh, size and Focus size vehicles, and make them special cars, SDs and RSs, to give them more performance, better, better look, give them more uh, capability, etc. And what we also do is make sure that the vehicles that are coming out of other regions, yeah, like the Raptor, where we discuss later, yeah, make, sh make, make them work on the European market. Um, we're going to specif uh, specifically talk about the Focus ST, um, not a new model, but uh, an interesting base to start with, with the fourth generation Focus. Um, how, how did that work? Well, we, um, when, when I started this job in 2017, we were in the middle of developing the Fiesta ST. Yeah, and when I, when I started the driving the car, the car, was, the car was okay, but it was not really good. So what we've done on Fiesta is we focus on four areas. Yeah, one is the engine and engine performance, uh, how the, pick, the power pickup is. One is vehicle dynamic steering. Third one is sound and the fourth one is, is seating, a uh, seating position. Yeah, and that worked really well with customers. So we, we've copied that in the Focus ST, that, that mindset, those four areas. And if you look at ST, a sports technology, you know, we put a lot of technology in this car to make it special. And also if you look back to the Focus RS, we make that a special um, feature, the, the four wheel drive system. On Fiesta ST, we have the three-cylinder engine, yeah? and on this one, we have the combination of all the different technologies. You have CCD, continuous damping control, yeah? up, up and down, and we have the ELSD, yeah? the electronic limited slip differential, as basically the highlights on... Uh, That's actually a first on a front-wheel drive Ford. It is, it is. And the, the, the benefit of an ELSD, an electronic limited slip differential, over a mechanical limited slip differential, is that you are very, very fast. Yeah, so the reaction of the limited slip differential is a lot faster than a mechanical one. On the mechanical one, you have to wait till the wheel spins. And basically, the system electronically knows yeah, when it needs to start blocking, etc.
two interesting engine options. Yes, we have an, uh, a 2.3 liter uh, petrol engine, uh, 280 horsepower, 420 newton meters. By the way, the highest torque in the in the in the C car section, yeah, the, the highest of every every competitor. And by the way, this car is quicker than the RS if you go from 50 to 120. So that's just as a, as, a few, as a few numbers. There's also a diesel option. Yes, there is a diesel option, a two liter diesel engine, 190 horsepower, 420 newton meters as well. Initially, there's just the six speed manual gearbox, but is there a thought of having a, an automatic gearbox as well? Actually, it's, it's coming to the market as well. We start building the car uh, in the next two weeks, the, f the first vehicles in production in Saarlouis in Germany, uh, and the car will be on the market uh, fairly soon. What body shapes are the ST badge going to be put on? We have uh, on, the, on the Focus ST two body sides, uh, two body shapes, the five door and the wagon. And they're both available in both the diesel and the, and the petrol version, and both in automatic uh, and manual. So the only version you can't get is the diesel automatic. The rest you can combine everything nicely. One final thing, the first time you're using selectable driver modes. Can you run me through the options there? Yes, we, um, f first of all, we learned from Fiesta, we have the switch in the, in the center console um, and we learned from, from customers that the, it, it's not reachable. So we move the switch of the selectable drive modes into the steering wheel. And the other thing is you don't have to toggle through all the modes to get to the sport mode, which is really, really the cool modes. Yeah. The one you're going to be looking for most. And, a, a, absolutely. So you have one touch and then you're in, you're in sport mode. In terms of typical customer, what do you try to aim to reach uh, in terms of performance vis-a-vis -vis, uh, comfort with this vehicle? Yeah, but actually with the, with the two body styles, we have an, an, a whole range of, of customers we can get to. And actually with the, with the drive modes, the normal and the sport drive mode, you buy two vehicles in, in for one price almost. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> exactly, so exactly. You have, you have an, an, a normal mode, the, the car is very comfortable, especially with the CCD system. Uh, which is also, by the way, just on five door, not not on not on wagon. But with this CCD system, you have a very comfortable car. As soon as you hit the sport button, then you have a very sporty car, and that is kind of the two faces, the Jekyll and Hyde, as you, as, as as we called it earlier. Yeah, that is what we were doing. So you have a whole range of customers that you can you can reach with with that combination. As one of the four areas of focus in the beginning of the interview, you mentioned sound. And that became apparent the minute we actually switched the car on for the first time. What was the thought behind this? this the background of sound is the sound is an integral part of the experience in a sports car. So at the, for me, it's very, very important to have a good sound with, with the car. So what we actually have done is measure the tailpipe noise, yeah, the exhaust noise, raise this, the, the orders that you have in the engine make the sport sound you're not sure whether that's that sounds familiar four cylinder you have the second order and the fourth order and the six, six, sixth order yeah and what it makes very sporty is a second order but also half orders yeah make it very uh, rough gurgling 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 sound and it makes it very very sporty so in the different modes yeah the, you you run through different levels of amplification of the diff of the different modes and the different character of the sound as well yeah so we make the sporty sound and we're making a track noise uh, actually much more aggressive and uh, make it a little bit louder but also change the the uh, the importance of the orders in, in the sound so that that makes it kind of an, a very nice sporty experience mm -hmm.